Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. So, well, end of the week, my last day of the week. So, hanging there. We're about to finish. So, We'll see, we'll see. So, el viernes y el cuerpo está trabajando todavía. <laughs> so, anyways, let's see. All right, guys, really nice to have you here. It's really, well, really good to be here with you. And, well, let's just get down to business. So, nice to have here, well, it's not there, but supposedly Julie, let me see, Obed, nice, Iris, Lucy. Josue, hi, Theo, hello, hello, Vilma and Marilyn. All right, really good. So Lucy, are you working? Are you still working? Yes, something like that. Okay, <laughs> something like that. I like that. <laughs> nice. So what about you, Obed? Are you at home or uh, are you still working too? <laughs> Obed? You there? Uh, in gym right now. Oh, you're at the gym. Oh, I see. So you're at the gym. Nice. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> As that you have, you find the time to do it. Good. All right. Excellent. So let's see. Let's start then, guys. And let me see. First things first. Let's take. Um, Let's take attendance and let me see so that we can wait so that we can start without any problem. So let's just let me pull it up here. Da -da 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 -da. Here is the list. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. So it's Friday the 5th. So let's see. Let's start then with Alison Gabriela Ramos, who I guess is not part of the course anymore. Then we continue with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present. Thank you very much, Anita. Nice. Then we have Angel Balmore Aguilar. Present. Thank you very much, Angel. Nice. We continue with Brenda Raquel Reyes. Brenda not here. So then we continue with Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Glenda not here either. So we continue with uh, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Present. Thank you very much, Iris. Nice. Next person, Josue Vladimir Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much, uh, Josh. Nice. Next person, Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Carla Maria, not here yet. So we continue then with Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, eh, Carlita, nice. Next person, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. All right, thank you very much, Lucy. So next person, Marilyn Del Carmen Solis. Marilyn, Marilyn, are you there? Marilyn, no. Not here, okay. So let's see, then let's continue with Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Present teacher. teacher. Oui, oui. All right, <laughs> nice, thank you very much. Present. Mauricio. Parame, ¿quién me está diciendo present ahí? Marilyn, okay, thank you very much, Marilyn. Nice, let's see, next person, Obed Alexander Alas. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Obed. Good. The next person, Orfa Lisette Barrera. 
Otfa Lisset. Not here yet. So we continue with Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Vilma. Nice. And then we have Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Next, we have Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla. Teresa, not here yet. So we continue with Jessica Melissa Oya. Meli, not here yet. And then we have Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Julie. Nice. Okay, then. So there you go. So let's get down to business. Let's start uh, with today's uh, lesson. And before we start, well, yesterday we were talking a teacher, little. Teacher, teacher. Uh huh. Venía ahí bajándome del bus, así que por si no me tomo la asistencia, aquí estoy. ¿Cómo no? Así le escuché, Beverly, cuando dijo present. <ríe> no se preocupe. Nice. Ok, cool. All right then. So as I was saying, yesterday we were actually talking a little bit about a countable and uncountable nouns. We were a, talking like about the difference between these two types of nouns. And actually on something about quantifiers, we were saying, and we were, well, we were reviewing something about some quantifiers there. And before we start with this review about quantifiers and countable and uncountable nouns, let's watch something here. So I have this video in which we're going to have, or we're going to listen to a little review on countable and uncountable nouns. So let me see. Let me just share my screen so that we can all watch it. All right, so here we go. Let's have this review about countable and uncountable nouns. So let's pay attention to well, this episode of the Grammar Show and I'll go explaining to you a couple of things along with the video. So here we go, listen. Hello. Hello and welcome to today's Grammar Game Show. I'm your host, Will. I'm rubber, your glue. It bounces off me and sticks to you. And of course, let's not forget Leslie, our all-knowing voice, in the sky. Hello, everyone. Tonight, we're going to ask you three questions about countable and uncountable nouns. Those people, things, and places that tell us what we're talking about. OK, now let's meet our contestants. Hello, all. My name is Bill. And contestant number two. Nice to meet you. I'm Yun. Nice to see you again, Bill. You're making quite a name for yourself in this show. And welcome, you. OK, let's get going. And don't forget, you can play along at home, too. Here is our first question. Nouns in English can be divided into countable and uncountable. But what are the basic differences between them? Uh, <clears throat> uh, countable nouns can be counted. Uncountable nouns can't. Or not can't, they can, but we don't usually. <laughs> I mean, who wants to sit there and count grains of rice? <laughs> Leslie! Correct. Countable nouns can be divided into singular and plural. A chair, two chairs, three chairs. Uncountable nouns cannot. With countable nouns, we ask how many and use words such as a lot, many, and a few. With uncountable nouns, we use how much and words such as a lot, much, and a little. All, All right, stop. Here we have something that we were reviewing yesterday. So besides the fact, well, besides the obvious countable nouns, we can count them. Uncountable nouns, we can't. 
But we were saying yesterday, we use some of these words that we call quantifiers to uh, count or measure at some point some of these nouns. So with countable nouns, uh, we said that we can use the, the question, how many, right? How many, how many chairs do we have? How many people are there at the party, et cetera, et cetera. And we said that we can also use this, for example, these three quantifiers here, a lot, many, and a few, right? Uh, besides that, we also talked a little bit about uh, some and any, but we're going to review that later on. And with uncountable nouns, we say, we cannot use how many with uncountable nouns. What we use is how much, right? How much. We can also use a lot, a lot. Dijimos que era un comodín, right? It was a wild card. And much, eh, we only use it with uncountable nouns. And also the word a little, all right? So here we go. It has a lot, much, and a little. All clear on that? Let's have an alphabet battle to check. It's simple. Challenge each other to give examples of countable and uncountable nouns following the order of the alphabet. Yun, you can go first. Ready, go. Uncountable. A for art. Correct. Countable. B for beds. Correct. Countable. C for cars. Correct. Uncountable. D for danger. Correct. Countable. Elephants. Correct. Uncountable. Fish. Correct. Uh, but, but fish is countable. Wait, uh, fish is. Oi! What, what, what was that? Uh, sorry, I was thinking about something else. Well, she's cheating. Cheating? Well, I didn't see anything. That is a very serious accusation you're making. Do you have any evidence? Roll up her sleeve. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't, I'm afraid. I can no longer touch the contestants after that uh, unfortunate chainsaw-related game show accident in episode 37. Oh, but that was such a long time ago. Leslie, fish? Fish is both countable and uncountable, depending on whether you mean the animal I see three fish, or the food. I eat lots of fish. This is not the only noun like this, so be careful. Boss, yesterday we were saying, if you remember, there was something about a chicken, the animal, and chicken, the food. So this is a similar example. I can count chickens, right? So one chicken, two chickens, three chickens, animals. But I cannot count chicken as food. Same happens with fish. I can say, I see three fish, right? Countable. And I can say, I eat lots of fish. In that case, I'm talking about food, fish as food. So something to take into consideration right also fish is the plural form as well but there are some instances in which i could say fishes when i'm talking about different types of fish so you'll see we'll see about that later on so listen well done i think you did better so 12 points for you With every exam, your moment. With I'm sorry. Keep a steady partner in. No tenemos presupuesto para el primo. I'm sorry. On to our second round, and this is a double trouble round of two questions about uncountables. Here we go. Question one: If uncountable nouns cannot be counted, how then can we count them? Can't we use a container to make them countable? 
Correct. She's doing it again. Hey. Oh, uh, y y yes, y you're right. Um, t time for our second uncountable question. Woo! Now that's a paradox of words. Fruit is an uncountable noun. How then is this sentence correct? There were at least 12 fruits on offer. It's an irregular plural that refers to the different types of thing in the same category. Correct. Will, she's cheating. Well, so you keep saying, but do you have any evidence? I literally just filmed it on my phone. Hey, 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 what are you doing there? You could be blog tubing the answers. Put that away. Tut, tut, tut. Leslie. Tut, 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 Bill. To make an uncountable noun countable, we need to use a container. This is an expression commonly using a and of. For example, a piece of cake or a cup of coffee. Secondly, some nouns, such as fruit and fish, have an irregular plural, fruits and fishes. We use these when we are referring to a number of different types of thing from the same category. For example... All right. So yesterday we talked a little bit about this too. How do we count e uncountable nouns? Is there any way to count them? We cannot count them per se, but what we do is that we can count the container that it has these uncountable now for example some of the sentences that we saw there before like when we see this cake like e, per se is not countable too unless we are considering as a whole so we cannot say i uh, i want three i want to eat three cakes like as a portion uh -uh. What do we use? A piece of cake, right? So a piece of cake. Then we have coffee. Coffee, we said, is not countable either. So what do we do then? We can count cups of coffee, a cup of coffee, two cups of coffee, three cups of coffee, et cetera, et cetera. But we don't say coffees, right? So Something about what they said here regarding a fruits and fishes. Ya habíamos dicho que fruit y fish no son contables. Fish, habíamos visto que podría ser contable cuando hablamos de los animales y no contable cuando es comida. Fruit, ayer hicimos un ejercicio en el que incluíamos fruit, en el que no era contable. Like when we say, I want some fruit or I want to eat some fruit. So, en ese caso no es contable. ¿Cuándo puedo decir fruits and fishes? Fruits, le voy a poner la S o lo puedo pluralizar cuando hablo de diferentes frutas. Cuando de lo que estoy hablando son de diferentes tipos de frutas como naranjas, peras, manzanas. In that case, I can pluralize it, right? Si yo le digo a alguien, por ejemplo, eh, there are different fruits here. There are different fruits. Lo que trato de decir es que hay diferentes tipos de fruta. So, ahí sí puedo. Con fishes pasa lo mismo. Hay diferentes tipos de pescados, right? Bueno, de peces. So, cuando estoy refiriéndome a diferentes tipos de peces, ahí sí digo fishes. Por ejemplo, si estoy en una exposición hablando de, de, del mar o de algo, de diferentes, eh, de vida marina, ahí puede ser que se diga fishes, porque me refiero a tipos de peces. No solo a contar uno, dos, tres, cuatro, que serían fish, si cuento el mismo tipo. Eh, ni tampoco me refiero a ellos como comida, ¿no? que es fish también, como no contable. En este caso, un nombre contable 
que aplica para diferentes tipos de peces. Ahí sí digo, fishes. Preguntas. Questions. O si se entiende la idea aquí de, de las fruits and fishes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Nice. We'll see. We'll see about that. So let's see. So we continue. Apples, bananas, and oranges. Well done, Yun. Another fantastic round and another 10 points. Okay, on to our... No, 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 no. Hang on a minute. Before we go any further, can you just please keep an eye on her? Please? Oh, very well. If for no other reason than it's not nice to see a grown man beg. Except for Leslie, of course. Round three. Have a look at these sentences and tell me why the noun used in each one is special in some way. The news was reported. The species is extinct. The team play well. The staff are unhappy. In A, the noun news is uncountable. However, uh, many people may see the S at the end and think that it is a plural. Oh, no. There is no singular or plural. News is uncountable. Correct. I'm just guessing here, but the noun species in B is unusual because it's singular and has no plural form. <coughs> so, just to say again, the noun species, singular and plural forms are the same. Correct. In C, the noun team is a collective. This means it can be singular or plural. It depends on the speaker. Correct. I'm going to go out on a limb here, but the noun staff in D is singular, just like news. En Giro Central, 12 años de coco de crema tienen las mejores historias. Disfruta local. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sí. Hay muchas formas oh de llegar God. al trabajo a tiempo, Wey. pero InDriver es la más no. cómoda. So just to repeat that, staff is a collective noun that takes plural verb form. Correct. Okay, so this might be a little bit confusing too. For example, in these four sentences, we have something particular about some of these nouns. The news was reported. So, was es el pasado de is, right? So, is, nosotros sabemos que lo, lo utilizamos solo con if, in formas singulares, no o nombres en singular. Como he is, she is, it is. So, acá diríamos, si esto estuviera en presente, the news is shocking, right? The news is shocking. Pero ¿por qué si news tiene una S? Sí, a pesar de que tiene una S, nos podría confundir especialmente a nosotros, el que hablamos español, en el que nuestros plurales siempre tienen S, right? Sillas, mesas, personas, eh, frutas, right? noticias. Y en inglés no. En inglés, news, por ejemplo, que significa noticias. Y a pesar de que tiene una S, siempre será singular. So it's going to be singular all the time. So no hay una forma singular de decir, ah, the new, porque solo es una noticia. Mm -mm. New es un adjetivo y es nuevo. News es noticias, right? Siempre eh, se considera, se, se considera que es un singular. Now, the species, the species is extinct. La palabra species, especies, va right, literal, y es el mismo en singular y plural. Ojo, 
Acá lo puedo ocupar de las dos maneras, singular o plural, o sea que es contable, pero las dos formas es la misma. Lo mismo me sucede, creo que ayer lo, lo escribí por ahí, sheep, ay, sheep, right, oveja, y el plural es igual, sheep, right, ovejas, so sheep and sheep. Lo mismo pasa con species, species singular, species plural. ¿Qué es lo que le va a dar el cambio? ¿O cómo voy a saber cuándo es singular y plural? Con el verb to be, right? The species is singular, the species are plural. So there you go. Now, the team, and this is a very interesting too. The team, he will say, this is a collective noun. What are collective nouns? Nombres colectivos son los que, y podríamos decir, como en este caso, hablamos de un equipo, pero el equipo incluye varias personas o algo, varios miembros. So, algunas personas podrían decir, pero son varios, right? es plural. Otros pueden decir, no, no es que sean varios, es singular porque es un equipo. Right? Y puedo contar equipos, un equipo, dos equipos, tres equipos. Entonces, ¿qué es? It's a collective noun. So, ¿cómo lo tomamos entonces? ¿Como singular o como plural? En Inglaterra, se puede considerar como ambos, right? No importa si, bueno, la gente lo usa como un singular o como un plural. Sin embargo, en Estados Unidos no. En Estados Unidos, para ellos es un singular. Entonces ellos no dirían the team are, y, o no sé, the team play well. Esto, por ejemplo, no lo dirían tal vez en Estados Unidos. ¿Qué dirían allá? The team plays plays well, the team plays well, como un it, no como un they, right? So, lo mismo sucede con otros collective nouns como group, y family, también y un collective noun que es bastante común en Inglaterra, que se use como singular y plural. So, and then we have the last one, the staff. The staff y this is pretty much same example as with the species, right? This can be considered, well, plural or singular. So we say the staff is or are. It depends on what you or how you use it, right? Usually, I would say is, or what we would find is that Uh, we use it in singular forms, all right? But estos son casos así bien particulares. Los que sí hay que ponerle un poco más de atención son los casos como en el literal B y como en el literal A, right? Que son quizás los casos en los que una palabra no solo por tener la S es plural y en el que la forma singular y plural de un sustantivo son las mismas. So there you go. So let's see, let's continue. It's the audience. They're, no, it's someone's coughing. Bill, sometimes people cough. It's not illegal. Maybe the stress of four winds is beginning to show. Leslie? Nice. English has some irregular nouns which you need to be careful of. Some nouns, such as species, fish, and sheep, are the same whether they are singular or plural. Some nouns, such as news and mathematics, always take a singular verb. Some nouns, such as staff and police, are collective and so are always plural. And finally, there are some collective nouns, such as team, government and family, which can be either singular or plural depending on whether you mean a single unit, it, 
or a group of individuals? They. Well done. Three points each. And that brings us to the end of today's grammar game show. Let's count out the points. And the winner is... Yen! Or, at least it would be if she hadn't been blatantly cheating this whole time. What? Don't you think I don't see everything that goes on around here? I see all and I hear all. Incidentally, Bill, you might want to go to the doctor. Your stomach's been making some quite, uh, biological noises. Why didn't you say something before? Well, it's your stomach, Bill. Oh, you mean about the cheating. Uh, well, I've got a time slot to fill. Bye-bye, Yun. <laughs> Release the disappointed parents. Oh, and Bill, uh, no one likes a snitch. It looks like we'll need two more contestants. Thanks for joining us. Say goodbye, Leslie. Saul, Leslie. Oh. See you next time. All right, so there you go. So as I was explaining to you yesterday, the trick here is, um, Knowing if a noun is countable or uncountable, we might find a different types of, well, in words, we were saying yesterday, some words that are countable in Spanish, they're not countable in English. So it's just a matter of discovering, right, which words are actually countable and uncountable. In this way, we can actually, um, use quantifiers in the right way. We were doing some quantifiers yesterday, like some, any, a few, et cetera, et cetera. And we were saying that if this becomes easier once we understand what is what, right? Which one is, a, or what noun is, um, let's say, what noun is countable or uncountable. So let's see, before we continue, before we move on to some of the, well, to a new thing here, let me see. Mm -hmm. Let's make a little review about e quantifiers. So let me see. Here we go. All right. Mm, wait, 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 wait. No, this is not the one. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you so that we can check this little game here. So let's have a little review on quantifiers by playing a Kahoot about this topic here. So let's see, here we go. Let's see how much you remember about these quantifiers. So here you have the ping number we are going to use. All right, so I'll wait for you to connect. All right, there we have Carlita Lanza. It is. Julie, nice. Ovedalas, nice. Marilyn. Lucy, good. Anita. Evelyn, good. Mm 
Let's see, let's see. Oh, Angel. Y Angel tiene que irse a esta dirección que está acá. www.cajut.it Solo se va a esa dirección en su teléfono o computadora. Pone el, el PIN que aparece aquí. Y, y luego su nombre. Right. Me avisa si... Si le funciona, Angel. Okay, so let's see. I guess we're going to start. Then if you haven't been able to connect, you still can connect during the game. So let's see. All right. Si no se han podido conectar, siempre aparece el, el pin number, el número, y en la parte inferior derecha de la pantalla. Y so de ahí lo pueden tomar si no se han conectado todavía. So let's see. Let's give it a try. So here we go. Quantifiers. Countable, uncountable nouns, quantifiers. Let's see. Two or false. Many and few are used for countable nouns. True or false. Many and few are used for countable nouns. Are they? Three, two, one. And true, yes. So we use many and few with countable nouns like many people or few people, right? Many and few, decíamos ayer, son como contrapartes, ¿no? Many expresa que hay varios y few que hay pocos o algunos, unos cuantos, right? That's few. Pero siempre con countable nouns. Let's see the next one. Well, positions, Carlita, Lanza, Marilyn, Yuli, Oven, and Lucy. Number two, true or false. Much and little are used for countable nouns. Much and little. And false. Yes. So in this case, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Much and little are for uncountable nouns. So, much and little son lo opuesto, digamos, bueno, no, no son lo opuesto. Son la versión para nombres no contables de many and few. So, tenemos many, much, y few and little. Solo que much and little, en este caso, solo los ocupamos con Non-countable nouns. All right, so don't forget about it. Let's see the next one. Well, positions changing. Carlita Lanza, Marilyn, Ovent going up, Lucy going up, Evelyn going up. Number three. How, what do we need? Sugar, do you need? Uh 
Ajá. Three, two, one. Much. Sugar is uncountable. So, if it's uncountable, I cannot use many, right? How many sugar? No. How much sugar do you need? Let's see. Carlita Lanza on fire. Marilyn, Ovid, Yuli going up, and Lucy. Next one. Puzzle. How much is that coat? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Ordene la respuesta. How much is that coat? Hmm. All right, very good. Nice, nice. Some people are still missing. All right, 10 seconds. Clock sticking. Let's see. And I'm ay, 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 50 50. It is $95. So we have this question How much is tal cosa? No. I can say, for example, eh, how much is this pen? Wait, I'm not sure if you can see that. How much is this pen, right? ¿Cuánto cuesta este lapicero? How much is it? I can say, or I can ask the same question with different things. How much is this watch? How much is this coat? Etc. Eh, Etc. Et now, para preguntar el precio, nunca decimos how many, ¿verdad? Siempre va a ser how much. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de dinero. How much money, right? So, but we don't say how much money. We just say how much. How much is something. La respuesta siempre debe tener un sujeto. It, it is $95. O en español diríamos... 95 dólares, right? There you go. So let's see. Carlita Lanza, still in the first place. Marilyn, Oved, it is going up, and Julie. Come on, come on. Number five, we have time to do it. We have time to do it. Time, time. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Little. Time is uncountable. So, pero nosotros contamos el tiempo, teacher. Lo medimos, right? So, la palabra tiempo, no, no es contable. Pero y los tiempos de Dios que son perfectos y maravillosos, no. Eso en español, ¿verdad? En inglés, ah, ah. Si hay, si hay, a una excepción, cuando yo ocupo times, como de, I go to the super market, let's say four times a week. I can say this, I go to the supermarket four times a week. Ah, y si es contable. Mm, aquí significa otra cosa, que es veces, right? Pero no es tiempo. Eh, la palabra tiempo is uncountable, right? So in this case, no. So we use a little. We have little time to do it. So let's see. Talita Lanza, still there. Y Marilyn, Obed, Yuli, going up, and Iris. Let's see, number six. 
how people are there. Aqui se equivocaram. Are there. Or are here. Una de las dos. Uno de las dos. So let's see. Let's see. Nice. Very good. There you go. So how many people are there? People is countable. So I use many. Nice. Lucy going, uh, going up, returning to the five first places. Number seven. I only have uh, books left. I only have uh, books left. Uy, si ven que me trago, creo que internet está haciendo viento aquí. What? All right, just three answers. So I only have a few books left. Book eh, or books, this is countable. So little, no. No confundir little con chiquito o pequeño, right? Eso es little como adjetivo. Ahí puede decir a little kid, un niño pequeño. Eh, a little cat, por ahí vea, un gatito. So, <laughs> siempre aparece en, 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 en la escena el gatito de Yuli. Sí, no. le gusta, no conmigo. <laughs> <laughs> siempre veo que se atraviesa. <laughs> Marilyn, let's see. Pregunta. Teacher, yo le presioné few, pero no me pareció. Es que se trabó. Creo que sí, creo que hubo un ratito en el que se quedó así como en blanco, se quedó pensando sí, en cajón. Sí, tiempo. Diría que a varios les pasó porque solo tres y respuestas agarró. So, creo que fue ahí un error de, de cajón o de la conexión. So, sorry, sorry, las disculpas ahí, error, eh, technical issues. <laughs> nice, ok, ok. So, let's see. So, we have... All right, Carlita Lanza, still in the first place. Marilyn, Julie on fire. Obed and Josué going up. Very good. Let's see. Order the sentence. So let's see. How many students are there in your class? Ordene la oración. How many students are there in your class? Let's see, let's see. How many students? And a couple of seconds. Three, two, one, and there you go. So there are 15 students, right? There are 15 students. Nice. Let's see. Same positions. Evelyn going up. Nice. Almost there. What about, what about, hmm, few, many, some, a few, salt. Some, there you go. Teacher, be aquí porque some. So we have a, a few, few and many. Few, many and a few son para nombres contables, right? Salt, mm -mm, salt is uncountable. So the only one that I can use with uncountable nouns here is some. What about some salt? Si se acuerdan, 
Podría utilizar any acá en esta pregunta. What about any salt? ¿Qué dicen? Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no <not> sure. <laughs> okay, all right. Solo la quería poner música, Evelyn. Nice. <laughs> okay, so ayer decíamos, any lo ocupamos para preguntas. So, cuando hablamos de some, any, eh, decíamos, some es solo para oraciones afirmativas. Entonces, ¿por qué estoy ocupando some aquí, que es una pregunta y no any? La excepción a la regla decía, y siempre que yo ofrezco algo, o pido algo en una pregunta, debo de utilizar some. Ahí sí no puedo utilizar any. Aquí no puedo decir, what about any salt? No. What about some salt? ¿Por qué? Porque le estoy diciendo a alguien, y le estoy como haciendo una pregunta como para ofrecerle, como si quiere, ¿no? What about some salt? So, en este caso, por eso es que sí utilizamos el some. So there you go. Let's see. Very good. Same positions. So the last one. I need more minutes. I need more minutes. And there you go. I need a few more minutes. Pero ¿y por qué a few, teacher? Si los minutos son tiempo. Mm, no, o sea, sí, pero no. Acá, con los minutos, medimos el tiempo, right? So, los minutos sí los puedo contar. Y so I can say, Five minutes, ten minutes, thirty minutes. Entonces, a little no me funciona porque a little es para no contables. Y bueno, igual con little, ¿verdad? En el mismo caso, no aplica para nombres contables. So, ¿qué utilizo? A few. I need a few more minutes in this case. Nice. So... Final scores. Third place, Marilyn. Second place, Luli. And the first place goes to Carly Talanta. Nice. Also, we have fourth place, Obed. And fifth place, Lucy. So, very good. All right. So, let's see. There you go. So this is just for you to have with a clearer idea on how to use quantifiers with countable and uncountable nouns. Remember, if this applies also to the questions, how many, how much, and we can use these questions for different things, right? Pretty much for different purposes. Okay, so... Let's see. Let's have just one more practice about this and then I'll let you uh, go to a different topic. So let me see. We are going to do, we're going to have a different activity here. So we're going to work in two teams. But no, let me see. Now we're just going to work in one team. So here we go. All right, so we're going to play this game in which we're going to try to answer some, or we're going to try to complete some sentences uh, using quantifiers for countable and uncountable nouns. So let me see, let's start. So we're just going to play as a whole group, okay? So let's see if we can do this. So let me see, who's gonna break the ice? So, the first one goes to, let me see. Uh, 
Um, nom, 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 nom. First one goes to Marilyn. So Marilyn, you ready? Marilyn? La perdimos. Se fue, me dejó en visto, Marilyn. Okay, so let's see. La... Julie there. So let's start with Julie. Ready, Julie. Lista, pero explíqueme qué es lo que vamos a hacer. <laughs> ah, no, así no se vale. <laughs> yes, so let's see. Vamos a ver una oración y usted la va a completar con las opciones que le voy a mostrar, ¿ok? All right, let's see. Here we go. So, let's see. This is the Choose first the correct sentence. answer. What do you think, Julie? Are there students in the college? Some or any? Some. Some. Entonces quedaría, are ah, there? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Are any, ¿por qué pregunta? Ah. <laughs> so, entonces diríamos, are there any? Are there any? Uh -huh. Studying or student, student? in the college? <laughs> in the car. <laughs> okay, there you go. Are there any? Bandar Mauyan in English. So yeah, are there any students in the college? Let's see. Yes, very good. So, super. Ahí dijo Julie algo bien importante. Any, aquí lo utilizo porque es una pregunta, right? So, no es un affirmative statement, es una pregunta y no corresponde con las excepciones que vimos ayer, que si ofrezco, que si pido algo, no, ¿verdad? Aquí es una pregunta tal cual. So, any, very good. So, Yuli, select someone else. Seleccione a alguien más. Mm. Obed. Obed, let's see. Obed, are you ready? Yes. Yes, always ready. Let's see, Obed. This one. Wait, wait. This one. Choose is the correct for you. answer. <laughs> All right, what do you think, Obed? There is very. Neril. Mm, Little. Uh -huh. Can you read it complete? There is very little meal left, so we can make any ice cream. Ice cream? Uh huh. Let's see. Ice so, cream. Nice. Obed says little. Would that be? Yes, very good. So we have there is very little milk left. Excellent. Milk is uncountable. So that's why we are using little. So very good. Obed, select another person. Carla Lanza. Carlita Lanza. Let's see. Carlita Lanza, ready? Ready. Excellent. So let's see. Carlita, this one is Choose for the correct you. answer. What do you think, Carlita? How many chairs do we need for the party? How many chairs? Let's see if that's the answer. Yes, very good. Chairs is countable. So, of course, what we need here is many. Excellent. So, Carlita Lanza, select another person. Marilyn. Mm, uh, Marilyn, let's see. Marilyn, you're ready. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see, Marilyn. This one, wait, this one is for you. Choose the correct answer. What do you think? How many banks are there in your city? How many banks are there in your city? Let's see. 
Yes, very good. So bands <laughs> is also countable. So we use many, right? Very good. So Marilyn, you choose another person. Okay. Um, Vilma. Vil oh, Vilma. Vilma creo que está trabajando Fuera. todavía. Sí, sí, sí. Okay, well. uh, let's see, another person. Um, uh, Orfa, Orfa, Orfa. Orfa. All right. Yes. Orfa, are you there? Yes. All right. Let's see. Orfa. Let's see. Here we go with. It's for you. Choose the correct answer. What do you think, Orfa? Uh. How you like uh -huh. any tea? Any tea? Would you like any tea? Are you sure? Por un millón de dólares, Orfa. Would you like any tea? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Think, how, how would you like some tea? Ah. Some. Vamos, ajá, lo cambiamos por some, entonces. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Would you like some tea? In. Yes, very good. So in this case, esta sí es la excepción, right? Acá tenemos una pregunta, pero le estoy ofreciendo a alguien, ¿no? Would you like some tea? Por eso ocupamos some. Nice, Orba. Good. Here we have also this word, would. Y creo que habíamos hablado, creo que en el, en, el, en el módulo anterior, de las silent letters, en las que tenemos palabras como esta, en las que no suenan todas las letras. Entonces no decimos would, would, or would, sino would, would, would you like. Lo mismo pasa con otros auxiliares como este de acá, en que solo decimos could. Could you help me? Could you answer my question, please? Right? Could, would, eh, should. Lo mismo, no? Should. Should. Should is deberías. You should go to the doctor, for example. You should. So, there you go. En estos, dos, en estos tres auxiliares, la L no suena. So, very good. All right, so then we continue. Nice. So, Olfa, you choose another person. Mm. Sonia. All right, let's see. Sonia, Evelyn, are you there? We... Choose the correct answer. Evelyn, Evelyn. Evelyn, you there? I'm here. All right, let's see. Okay. Um, uh, many uh -huh. peanut butter do we have left? How many peanut butter do we have left? Yes. You sure? Yeah. For one million dollars. Ya le debo un millón a Olma. Ajá. So you sure? <laughs> how much? <laughs> how much? <laughs> so how much peanut butter do we have left? Respuesta definitiva? Yes. Yes. All right. So let's see. Yes, how much peanut butter do we have left? Excellent. Peanut butter is mantequilla de maní, right? So that's not something we can count. No podemos contar la mantequilla de maní, pero sí los botes, no los, los jars, eh, jars of peanut butter. That I can count, but not the product itself. So very good. Now, antes de seguir, let's see. Let me take attendance for the second time. So let me see. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da. 
here we are. Okay, so here we go. Eh, Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present. Thank you very much. Anita, next, Ángel Balmore Aguilar. Present. Thank you very much, Angel. Next, eh, Brenda Raquel Reyes. Not here, I guess. Next, Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Present, Tisha. Thank you very much, Glenda. Y next, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Present, Tisha. Thank you very much, Iris. Next, Josué Vladimir Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Josué. Y next, Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Not here today. So we continue with Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, Carlita. Nice. So then we continue with, let's see, y Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Lucy. Now you're back at home. Excellent. <laughs> nice. So then we continue with Marilyn Del Carmen Solis. Present. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Good. So let me see next, Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Mauricio, Mauricio. Mm, not there, maybe having problems with the connection. So we continue with Obed Alexander Alas. Here, teacher. All right, thank you very much, Obed. And next we have Orfa Lisset Barrera de Payes. Here. Thank you very much, nice Orfa. Then we have Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Vilma. And next person, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Next, we have Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla. Not here today. And next, Jessica Melissa Oya. Meli, not here. And last but not least, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Julie. All right, so we continue after this pause. So let's see, uh, Evelyn, select another person. Um, Angel. Angel, let's see. Angel, you ready? Yeah, teacher. All right, let's see, Angel, this one. Go for you. Choose okay. the correct answer. What do you think, Angel? Well, how would you complete the sentence? Uh, oh. Uh -huh. We have very, very few money. Very few money, huh? When I left, left, so we can spend. I uh, spend it carelessly. Carelessly, uh -huh. we can spend it carelessly. Carelessly yeah. means descuidadamente, right? So you say then very few money. Are you sure, Angel? Oh. Uh, A la, 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 la. A little. No. This one. Yes. You sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see. Ay, 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 ay. So, no, in this case, we were close. Money is uncountable, right? So it's uncountable. 
And we have this word here, very. Si le ponemos acá el very, ya no le ponemos poner el a, very a little, no no funciona, right? Pero si podríamos poner little. So, we have very little money left. Af well, few, no, eh, no corresponde tampoco porque es, few es para nombres contables. Right? Y aquí estamos hablando de money. So, la única que podía hacer es little. Así solito. All right, but don't worry, Angel. Things that happen. <laughs> Angel, select another person then. Okay. Um, it is, it is Beatrice. All right. Iris, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so here we go, Iris. This one goes for you. Choose the correct answer. So what do you think? Can you read it, Iris, and how would you complete it? In the fridge, fridge. The fridge. So, we uh -huh. can, so we can make a pie. A pie. A pie. A pie. Very good. So there are few yeah. eggs in the fridge. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, let's see. For one million dollars. Few. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A few. A few? This one then. Are, are, are a few. There are a few eggs in the fridge. Shall we try? Uh -huh. Few. Few. This one. Yes. All right. Let's see then. Ay, 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 ay. So this is very tricky to use. Aquí la diferencia del few y el a few. Y um, es lo mismo, pero no es igual. O sea, ¿cómo lo ocupo o cuál es la diferencia entre ocupar uno o el otro? Es lo mismo que nos pasó con Angel. Y en el caso de Angel decía, very, espacio, money, right? Ese very me decía que ya no podía ocupar el a, very a, little, mm -mm. so no pegaba. Era very little money. Acá era lo opuesto. Acá no tengo nada, no tengo como un, un adverbio como very, sino solo there are. There are, aquí sí le puedo poner el a few. There are a few eggs in the fridge. So we can make a pie. So hay algunos huevos en la refri, así que podemos hacer un pastel, ¿vale? un pie. So, si tenemos un adverbio como very eh, en la oración, no, no va el a. Pero si no lo tenemos, ahí sí, le ponemos a little or a few. So, that's the difference. But nice, good. So, Iris, can you select another person? Iris. Ana Beatriz. All right. Oh, wait, wait. All right. So, Anita, are you ready? Hi. Hi there. Okay. So, this one is for you, Anita. Choose the correct answer. So, what do you think? Um, 
Que será, que será? Little? Little. Mm -hmm. You sure? No. Uh -huh. Será little. Anita. Hello. Um, a few. A few. So, a few students. New students can, uh -huh. can answer this question. All right. So, a few students can answer these questions. Let's see. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Let's see. Ay, 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 ay. So, otra diferencia entre la few y few y está en que cuando yo digo a few, es como si doy a entender de que hay unos como varios, ¿no? Como unos cuantos eh, en un sentido positivo, ¿no? Hay unos cuantos alumnos. Pero eh, indico que hay varios, ¿no? Cuando yo utilizo solo few, few students can answer this question, es lo contrario, es como una idea negativa. Es como unos pocos eh, o unos cuantos, también diríamos nosotros en español, pero indicando que son pocos los alumnos que podrían responder la pregunta en este caso. So, a few, y eh, tómenlo en cuenta, ¿no? Eh, a few es eh, o denota una cantidad, digamos, afirmativa, o sea que son varios, y few es para indicar pocos, right? Pocos o unos cuantos. Eh, como un sentido negativo, ¿no? En el que no son muchas personas. So, but don't worry. Nice. Ok. Anita, select another person. Um, Lucy. Lucy, let's see. Lucy, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, excellent. So let's see. Oh, wait. There you go. So here we go. Lucy. This one is... Choose the you. correct answer. So what do you think, Lucy? How would you complete this question? Is there any butter in the fridge? Is there any butter in the fridge? Are you sure? Yes. Yes, like 100% sure? <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, many, many, uh, many, butter in the fridge. many butter in the fridge. So you are you sure you're going to change? <laughs> yes. Um, well, <laughs> the first, the first, I, I, I can choose any. Any. All right. So you're going to stick to your first <laughs> answer. Okay. <Yes. laughs> Let's see. Is there any butter in the fridge? Yes, very good. So you doubted about it, but yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, many is for countable things and butter is uncountable, right? So we would use any. Very good. So Lucy, select another person. Joshua. All right, let's see. Josh. Are you ready, Josh? Hi, teacher, yes. All right, excellent. So this one goes for you. Let's see. Choose the correct answer. Well, what do you think, Josh? What would you say? How would you complete it? Yes, how many money do you have left? How many money do you have left? Are you 100% sure about that answer?
Yes, teacher Manny. Yes, mete las manos al fuego por Manny. Sí, ya me quemé. Let's see, a ver si no se quema. Ay, ay, ay. So, Manny, Josh. Manny is uncomfortable. Se quemó. Manny is uncomfortable. So, we say, y we cannot use me, eh, many, right? So, we would use much. How much money do you have left? So, there you go. So, quemado, Josh Nimok. <laughs> All right, Josh, select another person. The last one, I guess. No sé quién falta, teacher. Let me see. Ya le digo. Por ahí tenemos. Glenda. Ah, yes. There you go. No, Glenda ya había pasado. No. Ya había pasado. No me acuerdo. No, yo creo que no, ¿verdad? Glenda. All right. Okay, so let's see. Glenda, entonces. Glenda. Sí. This one goes for you. Sí. Choose the correct answer. What do you think, Linda? Um, there is a woman team uh -huh. in the back. is M. Empty. 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 Uh -huh. So you say anything. Mm, anything. Or something. Anything? Anything. Let's see. There isn't anything in that bag. Yes, mm. very good. Nice. So, <laughs> I got the names. Very good, Glenda. I got the names. Estas palabras. Something, anything, and nothing. Y, um, we would use this. Y probably in Spanish in a different way. Es como nosotros diríamos, no hay nada en la bolsa. Pero entonces, si buscamos el diccionario, es como de nada también es nothing. Anything también es nada. Y something es algo. So, no puedo poner something. Y si ven acá, some. Así como con el quantifier que estábamos viendo. Something solo lo ocupo con affirmative sentences. Anything, la palabra está compuesta por any, que también habíamos visto que any lo utilizamos con negative sentences. Lo mismo pasa entonces con la palabra completa, no anything. So, tampoco utilizaría nothing. Nothing indica cero, right, nada pero también lo ocupo con oraciones afirmativas. Como cuando digo, there is nothing in, the, in that bag. There is nothing in that bag. I see. Pero si, como en este caso, la oración es negativa, there isn't anything in that bag. So there you go. Perfect. All righty, so... Good job. Yes, we did really good with this uh, with this exercise about a uh, countable, uncountable nouns, and uh, also uh, pretty much quantifiers, right? Good. Okay then. Now I want you to check uh, something in your on your books. There you're going to see on page 18, if I remember correctly a little practice or a little review on negative statements for the simple present. Esto creo que ya lo habíamos, bueno, ya lo hemos venido estudiando, por ahí tuvimos un repaso también el primer día del, del simple present en general. So, I'm not going to take that much time explaining, a, well, the nuts and bolts about this topic or this particular topic. So, Negative statements in the simple present, they are pretty much uh, made by these auxiliaries, right? Do, does, and the word not. So, do, does, plus not. With that, I have already my negative statements. So, I say, for example, Maria does not work at HPBC. 
Marcos does not stay late at work. Juan and Pedro do not write reports. And we do not send letters. In the four sentences that we have here, you are seeing the complete version of it. But in real life, we wouldn't use the complete version if we are speaking. So we would say, Maria doesn't work. Marcos doesn't stay. Juan and Pedro don't. And we don't send letters. Acuérdense que, a pesar de que aquí están las versiones completas, eh, a la hora de hablarlo, utilizaríamos más que todo la contracción. Doesn't or don't, right? Now, what are you going to do? He will have a little exercise in that page, and it says, write six negative sentences about you and a colleague. So, what are these, or what are these negative sentences have uh, to be about? Pretty much, let's do these negative sentences about things that you don't uh, that you don't do at work. So, we are going to work in pairs and maybe some trios, so that we can complete this. So let me see. Mm, okay, here we go. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a escribir seis oraciones negativas de cosas que no hacemos en nuestro trabajo. O sea, eh, por ejemplo, si yo no escribo reportes en el trabajo, I don't write reports, right? So, cuando regresemos a la sesión principal, cada uno va a hablar de su compañero, right? Por ejemplo, tengo aquí la primera eh, pareja que es Carlita y Obed. Entonces, Carlita va a hablar de lo que Obed no hace y Obed va a hablar de lo que Carlita no hace en sus correspondientes trabajos, all right? Usando oraciones negativas. So, acuérdense que entonces van a ocupar she doesn't or he doesn't. Y la acción, ¿verdad? So, let's see. So, primer pareja, Carlita Lanza en Oven. Number two, Glenda en Evelyn. Number three, eh, Anita en Iris. Number four, Lucy en Julie. Number five, eh, Josué en, let me see, Angel. All right, Josué and Angel. So then we have, wait. Vamos a mover aquí. Ahí está. Then we have a, the last one, Marilyn and Orfa. All right, so you're working together. And Vilma creo que todavía, bueno, no, no, creo que no puede participar. So don't worry. So that's okay. So let's see. Let's give it a try then. Y ahorita les estoy abriendo los rooms so that you can work. I'm going to give you like 10 minutes so that you can complete the six sentences. Y then y we come back and we share the sentences that we wrote in the negative form. So 10 minutes now. 10 minutos. If you need some help, just let me know. Si necesitan ayuda, me avisen.
All right, let's see. I guess everybody's returning now. So here we go. Okay, guys. So let's see, let's see. Any volunteers to start with those sentences? Volunteers, volunteers. Nosotras, Orfa. All right, let's see. Marilyn and Orphedin. Vaya, fue dice Orphedin. Salimos ya, Orfa. Así salimos ya. ¿Para qué pronunciarlo? Esa es la cuestión. A ver, a ver, let's see. Mm. Orfa, yo tengo que hacer ahora tu idea, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto, exacto. Vaya. Uh, she doesn't clean the office. She doesn't clean the office. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She doesn't do the imports. Uh -huh, very good. She doesn't sleep in her office. Very good and very important. <laughs> she doesn't waste time at her work. All right. Very good. Nice. Excellent. She doesn't serve clients. Sir, no. clients, clients. Uh -huh, or clients. customers. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, nice. She doesn't. She doesn't invite invoice. I see invite. She doesn't uh, invoice. Invoices. The, receives. Uh, invoices. Uh -huh. The sales, ventas. She doesn't. Así se pronuncia. Sales, sales. She doesn't invoice the sales. She sales. doesn't mm, take or she doesn't do invoices for sales. Mm -hmm. All yes. right, very good, nice, great. And what about Marilyn Orfa? Okay, um, she doesn't do the bank recon reconciliation. Very good, bank reconciliations. She doesn't write the check. Ah, uh -huh, very good. She doesn't click, clean the office. Ah. Uh -huh. She doesn't do the financial statement. The financial statements, uh -huh. She doesn't eat during working hours. Oh, uh, very good, nice. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> she doesn't do the tax. She doesn't do the taxes, uh huh, and that's it. All right, very good, nice, good sentences. So congratulations, the two of you. Let's see, any other volunteers? Nosotros teacher con Evelyn. All right, let's see, Linda and Pero nosotros solo poquitas y sin. All right, that's okay. La que tenga, la que tenga. Okay. Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn. Evelyn does not report. Doesn't do reports, uh -huh, or doesn't write reports. Mm -hmm. uh, Evelyn. Mm, no, she doesn't mm, do me do meeting. She doesn't, she doesn't attend meetings. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm, she doesn't work in an office. Ah, uh -huh, very good. And she doesn't work in an office. Nice. That's all. All right, uh -huh. Evelyn. All right, let's see. Okay. Uh, Glenda doesn't teach class. Teach classes. Ah, uh -huh, very good. Uh -huh. uh, she doesn't take warehouse control. Oh, all right, very good. Warehouse control. Uh -huh. e Glenda doesn't keep a student report. All right, she doesn't e what write students' reports. Write a student report. Oh, very good. All right, very good. Nice, good sentences too. So excellent. 
So let's see. Any other volunteers? Vladimir and I. All right. That's yes. the spirit. Okay. Let's see. Right. So Angel and Josue. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Vladimir doesn't play soccer at golf. All right. Very good. Doesn't play soccer at work. He don't. He don't mark anything. He doesn't mark. Entry. Entry. Entries. Uh, he doesn't mark entries. Uh huh. Está bien así, teacher. No marco entrada. Yeah. In this case, I would say maybe it would be better. He doesn't punch in. Punch in es cuando no punch in, vea. Punch in es cuando ponemos la huella o cuando marcamos la entrada, digamos, al, al entrar a trabajar. So, podríamos decir, he doesn't punch in. He doesn't punch in. Yes, there you go. Okay. He doesn't do cleans. Right, very good. Sorry. He doesn't lay for golf. He doesn't lay for God. For God. He doesn't arrive late to work. Okay. okay. All right. There you go. Uh huh. And what he, about? Uh -huh. Yes. He doesn't cut a goal. He doesn't cut. Cut. Cut a goal. No. Cocinar, no cocino. Ah, so he doesn't cook. Uh, he doesn't cook at work. Ah, there you go. He doesn't cook at work. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Vladimir, now. All right. He doesn't watch TV at work. Very good. Nice. Angel does not sleep in at work. At work. Very good. He doesn't run at work. He doesn't run at work. Run, run, uh, run at work. Run, uh -huh. correct. Uh -huh. Run, run. Uh -huh. at work. Yeah. Angel does. Angel does not smoking at work. Doesn't smoke. Doesn't smoke at work. Very important. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, Angel. Angel does does not paint at work. Does not paint. Paint. Does. Uh -huh, does paint. not paint at work. All right. Nice. Is that it? Finish. Excellent. Finish. All right. Very good. Good. Nice, Angel and Josue. Good. Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you, you Angel. Right. Good. Thank you. All right. Any other volunteers? Let's see. Let's see. O democráticamente. Carla, este, Carlita Lanza. Oh, okay, Carlita, okay. over. Um, he doesn't cook in the restaurant. All right, He doesn't shopping in your office. He uh -huh. doesn't drive the car at the restaurant. He doesn't clean the room. He doesn't open the door at the restaurant. He doesn't stay late at the work. He at doesn't work. bucket. Uh, he doesn't bucket at the restaurant. He doesn't bucket. No, bucket. Ah, he doesn't do the budget. Uh -huh. He doesn't do the budget at the restaurant. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, good. So let's see. Uh, over now. She doesn't payroll in the company. She doesn't she do doesn't payroll. Shopping. Uh -huh. She doesn't shopping in your area. She doesn't do the shopping she, in her area. Uh -huh. The shop area. Uh, she doesn't uh, work at the night. At night. Uh -huh. At night. Uh, she doesn't take inventory in the week. Uh -huh. During the week. She doesn't make shopping driving. Uh -huh. She doesn't 
sends letters. And she doesn't send letters. Very good, Dora. Nice. Thank you very much. Over in Carlita. So let's see. Next. I have, let me see. Let's go with Julie and Lucy. Yes. Okay. I, Julie doesn't cook in her work. Uh -huh. Julie doesn't clean the office. Uh -huh. And Julie doesn't invoice for customers. And Julie doesn't maintenance the equipment. Maintenance. Julie uh -huh. doesn't sell products to customers. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, Lucy, Lucy doesn't answer call. Doesn't answer Lucy, calls. Uh -huh. Lucy doesn't operate equip, equipment. Equipment. Lu, Lucy doesn't perform administrative tasks. Administrative tasks. Uh -huh. Lucy doesn't clean. Mm -hmm. And Lucy doesn't lo track. Doesn't lot lot load truck trucks. All right, she doesn't load trucks. Very good, nice. Let's see. So no, right? No way. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, so very nice sentences. Good. And let's see. Last but not least, I guess. Let me see. That would be Anita and Iris. Okay. Iris doesn't yeah. clean her desk. Uh-huh. Um, he doesn't he does leave the office yearly. She she doesn't she does she does leave the office yearly. She doesn't leave the office early. Uh huh. Uh huh. Early. She doesn't. She doesn't drop here. He from all all day. Come on, come on, come on. She does. She doesn't. Uh -huh. She doesn't drop here from all day. Uh huh. She doesn't, ¿qué quería, ¿qué quería decir exactamente? Y que ya no suelta el teléfono todo el ah, día. So she, she doesn't leave her phone. Y, or no, she, no, lo diríamos al revés en inglés. She keeps her phone with her the whole day. So she doesn't stop using her phone the whole day, maybe. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. I bet it is. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, Anita uh, doesn't go, um, go to the office every day. Uh, uh -huh. He works until five. All right. She works until five. Uh -huh. Correct. Anita uh, is not on time at work. She's not on time at work. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, Anita doesn't drink uh, coffee in the uh, in the office. In the office, oh my god! Mm -hmm. I, it. And that's it. Okay, <laughs> nice, very good. Okay, then. So here we have just a negative statements, right? There is nothing much to say about it. I guess that you actually master a well this aspect of the simple present. So I think that we are doing very good with this already. So let's see, uh, before you go um, today, let me see, it's, let's see. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da. It would be, hoy le tocaría quedarse a, let me see, Lucy. ¿Se podría quedar, Lucy, ahora? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, perfect. Ok, Lucy, nice. So, paso lista entonces y los dejo ir. So, here we go. 
Eh, I start with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present. Thank you very much, Anita. Next, Ángel Balmore Aguilar. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Angel. And next, Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Glenda Maricela. Bueno, creo que tuvo problemitas ahí, pero por ahí estaba. So, next, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Present. Thank you very much, Iris. Next, Josué Vladimir Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Josué. Y next person, Carla María Beatriz Arana. Creo que no estuvo el día de hoy. So, next, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, Present. Carlita. Nice. Next, Lucy Natalie Juárez. Here, teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Lucy. And next, we have Marilyn del Carmen Solís. Marilyn, Marilyn. Okay, I see. Nice. Present, nice. Thank you very much, Marilyn. So next, we have Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Mauricio, creo que se, se le desconectó, creo, por ahí. So, seguimos con Obed Alexander Alas. Dear teacher. Thank you very much, Obed. Next, Orfa Lisette Barrera. Dear teacher. Thank you very much, Orfa. Y next, we have Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Vilma. Next, we have Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you very much, eh, Evelyn. Next, y we have Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla, que no estuvo presente. Eh, Jessica Melissa Oya, que tampoco se conectó. Eh, so last but not least, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Julie. Okay, guys. So we're going to stop right here. Uh, well, pretty much this will be all for today. Thank you very much for attending today to classes. Have a nice rest of your evening. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Good night, teacher. All right. Good Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Take Bye. Care. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Lucy. Oh, I see. I stop on Lucy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, nice. Thanks to you, actually, for making the time today. Uh, well, how, how's everything so far? Is there something that you consider has been difficult? How has it been to get accustomed to the classes again after two weeks? How do you feel about it? Yes, I feel very comfortable and very good. Nice. Because uh, for uh, for the grammar, I was um, a little, um, como se dice, confundida, que no tenía much, confused uh -huh. about grammar, uh -huh. and it's it's very useful for me. Oh, nice. And yes, that, um, especially with this topic, the mm -hmm. countables and not countables. Uh, Right now, I think uh, I'm a little confused, but uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, I try to do my best. <laughs> Excellent. There you go. Great. Yes. And this is a little bit, I guess, confusing because of our language, because in Spanish, we sometimes uh, something that is countable for us might not be countable in English. 
and there is where some questions arise and, and we get a little bit confused and with some exceptions as we were uh, reviewing today for example fish singular fish yeah. plural fishes that it's also an option so it's a little bit confusing but yeah. i get little by little right i'm going to share in the group some uh, material about special cases for countable and uncountable nouns so that you can well so that it can help you to make you a better idea about that topic mm -hmm. And it's very useful for the um, you. Uh, uh, I think the word is uh, for a common conversation. Uh -huh. In my case, in, in my work, uh, it, this topic is very special. Uh, mm -hmm. I, and I can practice the countables or non countables. Uh, oh, nice. So I remember you worked some uh, at something related to like sanit no it's like a sanitization something like that what's what's the, yes. what's, what's the 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 name of the of the position again yes and I'm a health and safety uh -huh. environment supervisor oh I, that's a, the thing for a for a construction project, uh -huh. it's like a, a repairs, maintenance, uh, maintenance, and, uh, maintenance, uh -huh, and maintenance, and uh, such a, a big construction like erect tanks or repair tanks. So for um, almacenamiento, storage tanks, uh -huh. storage tanks for. Uh -huh. Oh. And this is my my occupation. Ah, oh, nice. And do you have communication with people in English at some point? Yes, especially in some cases, we have to in field, and mm. and it's very necessary to and talk and trying to explain some topics in topics in field and mm -hmm. it's very necessary this oh, wow. time so you have like some people there who are who don't speak spanish exactly oh wow yes. that's that's the the principal reason i the need main to reason. the main is exactly uh -huh. and and trying to practice all days and and especially the video, the videos you mm -hmm. uh, shared with us mm -hmm. and are very useful for me. Nice. I'm glad. I'm very happy about that. So, yeah, yes. nice. I can tell that you actually you can keep a conversation in English. That's very good that you understand yes. able to, to, to answer. And that makes me feel happy because I guess if, maybe what you need is more this right this practice the speaking exactly. part right exactly. grammar is important in, in, in vocabulary and everything it, it's mm -hmm. it's a very important part of the language but when we want to learn to speak english we gotta speak english or we gotta try to yes. speak right and i know it must be difficult for you well at least you can practice sometimes at work um, so that's an advantage that you have. I know that in class it might be sometimes very difficult to ask everybody or to to have like a long conversation just with you or just with a person. It's kind of yeah. complicated, but try it. every time you are alone, even when you're alone and you don't have a person to practice with. Yeah, try to think in English. How would I say this in English? What's the name of this in English? Yeah, always looking for expressions, right? Yeah, of what I always tell you, real English, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. Expressions that can help me to start a conversation or to yeah. Yeah, greetings, little things that in the end, they make us sound a little bit more natural or more natural uh -huh, fluent. Like more fluent exactly mm -hmm. there you go 
Nice. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, teacher, because you um, give us a lot of samples like uh, native um, idioms or slangs. Mm -hmm. And this is very useful, trying to connect the, the ideas and not, not to try to translate. Because if I if I want to or I, if I um, try to translate the Spanish to the English, uh, that's the, <laughs> <laughs> the wrong uh, way yes. to learn. Exactly. Sometimes it just can be done that way. Sometimes it helps mm -hmm. translating. Yeah. But not always, right? There are some mm -hmm. words and expressions that they don't have an equivalent yeah. in Spanish, for example, yeah. and vice versa. And so we need to learn the exact mm -hmm. phrase or the exact mm -hmm. way to express an idea, right? So mm -hmm. it, it's always good to look for material if, mm -hmm. that maybe includes this type of language, like real language, real English. Mm -hmm. In your case, now that you're a person who understands a little bit more of the of the language, you can look for some series, movies, mm -hmm. uh, songs, right? Everything that can offer you new vocabulary or new expressions that you can use actually in a real conversation, right? Exactly. Nice. Okay, Lucy. So I'm very happy with your progress. I'm really Thank proud you. and happy for you. And well, thanks to you too. Thank you for your effort. Thank you. And Thank you for your time. Nice, nice. My pleasure. And if you ever need something, I'm here, right? So I'm a text message away. All right. Okay. Thank you so Bye. much. Okay. Have a good Let's night. See. You too. Enjoy your night. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. All right. Thank bye, you. bye bye. Bye.